Mars YouTube channel and today is about Camilla Trivia. If you watch Muppet Babies TV show back in the 80s, you probably recognize her as Gonzo Stuff Chick. Or if you like stuffed animals, you are in the right place. So join me to create this little fella. Let's start with the material that you're gonna need to create this character. We need wire, clay, tools to sculpt, and this uh, character chart that you can download from my website. It's just to know the sizes. I'm gonna create a really simple armature for Camilla's body. We need our proportional chart to measure how much wire we need. So after we measure um, how much wire we need, we fold it in half and then we start rotating until we get the length of the trunk and the rest of the wire is going to be our legs and since she's sitting we need to fold it in that position if you don't know how to create an armature go to my video how to create an armature and it's going to be more explanation about it the colors that we need we're gonna mix white clay just a small piece of white clay with a bigger piece of yellow clay in that way we're gonna have these pale yellow then just separate pieces of clay that belong to each part of Camilla's body to create the orange clay you mix a little bit of red with yellow clay we're gonna start creating the trunk so we use the piece of clay that I've been left for this part of the body the shape that it's going to have it is a shape of a pear like the fruit. Just make sure that it's really round and really even. Then we're going to make a cut just in the back. So in that way we can incorporate it to the armature. Just be sure that you put the armature right in the middle and cover completely. water drop. Just make sure to measure it against your armature to see if it, there is no extra wire. If it is, you can cut it up. Then make a cut at the back of the head so you can incorporate it to the armature. And make sure that you don't leave any wire exposed. Time to texturize. and We're going to use a pin or your needle tool to make this texture of hair. Then use your big needle tool, we're gonna draw a line across the front body. It's gonna be a vertical line from the top to the bottom. And this is to simulate those lines that are the stuffed animals they have when they sew them. Ram tool, we're gonna create marks where your eyes and mouth go. And we're gonna create Camilla's mouth with orange clay. And what I do is just the bottom part is a smaller cone than the top one. Just we're gonna flat it and then we're gonna put them together. Just put it together like really carefully and if you press so hard with your fingers, you can recharge with a needle. Then using our proportional chart, we're gonna create the eyes. So they are two small spheres that are gonna be dark brown and we're gonna create also a strand. 
then we're gonna create the eyes by taking one of the spheres, pressing down with the rounded tool, and create the illusion on the bottom. Don't forget to create the two holes in each one. to the left hole. So in that way we create the illusion that is a stuffed animal that it was sold on the front. Then you continue with the entire rest of the body going all the way down with the small pieces of thread. And don't forget to also put two marks middle center of the top of the head that I will use later. Then you can bake the entire piece. So it's gonna look like this and then we're gonna incorporate our legs. So we'll start with a small cylinder that is gonna be with orange clay and we incorporate it to the armature. And then the leg will end with the middle finger. side of the middle finger we're gonna add a little piece of clay in the shape of another finger and we cut her really careful just to remind you she has three fingers on her foot
separate an orange cylinder into the leg part and end it in with the middle finger and we add to the left one finger and to the right the other fingers and that way you have the three fingers that you need to create Camila's entire leg and foot. across the leg and the fingers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can check more tutorials like this. <laughs> 